So let's take a look at um, getting our animations into Unity. So I'm going to go ahead and do File, go to Export All. And I want to make sure that FBX Export is um, one of the options that I have. If you do not see it from scrolling down through here, you have to go up to Windows, Settings and Preferences, and go to Plugin Manager. And you're going to towards the bottom see something that says FBX Maya you want to make sure loaded and auto loaded are both checked on now let's go back and do our file export all and um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple things let's see if our your view when you first um, started up looks something like this so when you expand file type specific option down at the bottom you're going to see something that says include. What we want to include is in our animation, our animations, we want to include the entirety of our animation timeline which goes from 0 to 66. So I'm going to check that out and go 0 to 66. Blend shapes and skins are fine. Skin definitely. Blend shapes are not necessary but we're going to leave it on. That's something we'll cover later. And then we also want to check on embed media. What that does is that creates a link to this textured image that we created onto our file. So you can see on my desktop, I created a folder already called PopCan. And in that, I had an FBX and I called it PopCan with the at symbol, animations. And I'm just going to hit export all and hit yes. Let me go ahead and close that out. Now in the next, uh, what I'm going to do is pause the video and open Unity. Now you can see here that um, through testing, I've already made one called A to Margin Pop Can Game. Let's take a look at how I've created that project. Go ahead and click New. Where it says New Project Name, I'm going to go ahead and name it my first initial last name. And then I'm going to name it Pop Can. Now, you don't necessarily na have to name it Game, but these are usually a working title for whatever your game is going to be. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit Create Project. As that's building, uh, I'm going to pause the video. Now, if you have a gray interface and not this dark gray one, I use a professional version of Unity. You have, to be honest with you, pretty much the same access as I do. So let's go ahead and reset our layout. So I'm going to go to Layout and go to 2 by 3 and that'll reset my view. And then what I'm going to do is right-click in my Assets folder, go to Create Folder, and I'm going to name it PC for Playable Characters. And then inside of this, I'm going to right click again, I'm going to go to Create Folder, and I'm going to name this Pop Can. I'm going to right click on this folder, Import New Asset, and then on my desktop, I'm going to navigate to that Pop Can folder. And I'm going to find my Pop Can Add Animations and hit Import. Now, if I drag this into my view, what you'll notice is uh, let me hit F to focus. I'm going to hold Alt and left to rotate rotate. When I press play, no animations play. That doesn't mean that your animations didn't work. So if we select our can inside of our project view and we go to our animations tab, let's go ahead and pan up and zoom out a little bit. You can see when I press play, it goes through the entirety of my timeline from 0 to 66. In order to get the animations to play in my view, what I have to do is create something called an animation controller that controls all the animations. So I'm going to right click inside of my same view and I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call it Anims, A-N-I-M-S. That's where we're going to store our animations. I'm going to go inside of this folder, right click again, go to create, and that's where I'm going to create my animation controller. So create, down at the bottom, animation controller. And I usually just name it, just so I know, the name of my, whatever is going to be controlled, pop can, and then you'll see here controller. Now, Back in my view, I'm going to select my pop can here, and I'm going to drag this controller into this view. Now, um, just for now, so it makes it a little bit easier to read. Well, we'll leave it this way now. But just so you know, you can actually switch the views to one column, which will allow you to work in one column and view it this way. Or you can do two column layout, depending on what's easier for you. And that will show you the folder and then what's inside the folder in the second column. So. If I double click this pop can controller, I'm going to dock it towards the bottom so you can see it here. What you'll notice is it can be, it can feel a little daunting. And um, all we're doing in here is setting up our animation states. So 
uh, what a state is, is if we go to our pop can here, and we expand this, um, you'll notice that we have one big animation state called animations. Well, we need to break this up into several states. So I'm going to select my pop can here. If you remember from our last video, our locked in frame was 0 to 5. That's where our character is doing nothing. But we have a idle animation. So I'm going to hit plus, and I'm going to name this idle. Oops, let's make sure this is all selected. Hit enter to lock that name. You'll see that it changed here. I'm going to go 5 to 35, and that constricts it to this part of the timeline. Now, if you remember, 5 to 35 is just my idle state. And I want that idle state to loop when my character, when my player is not touching it. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. And what you'll notice off to the side here is now I have an idle state. So I'm going to actually select that and hit Control D to duplicate it, because what we're going to do later is we're actually going to attach some sounds, and we need that as a separate file. So if I decompress this, you can see it put it here. I'm just going to drag that up into anums here. Let's expand that one more time. Select our guy here, and we have to do this one more time. So we have an idle. Now let's go ahead and hit plus here, and we can name this WALK. Hit enter for walk. And remember, that was from frame 36 to 66. And I'm going to make sure that loops as well. So as I'm holding down my key, it'll loop. I'm going to hit apply here. And now you can see when I press play, we have our character looping. And off to the side here, we have another character. We have our walk. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit Control D. And then I'm going to go all the way up here, decompress that. And you'll notice that I've walked down here. I'm going to grab that and dump that in my animals folder. So let's go inside of our animation folder and like take a look at how we can get our animal, our pop can to animate. There we go. So I'm going to drag my idle into the animation controller. Notice that idle appears there. Now when I press play, you can see our character is idling. Now if I drag my walk in there and I press play, you'll see our character is still idling. So in order to switch transitions, I'm going to right click on the word walk and I'm going to do set as layer default state. And what you'll notice is now my character is looping on that walk. All right, I'm going to uncheck play. This is where I'm going to end this video. We're already at like seven minutes. In the next video, we're going to take a look at scripting this.